Okay, so hey guys, it's Quinston, and today we're gonna look at, uh, guess what, the same binary search tree, but this time we're gonna do something different. We're gonna make the delete function. Now, I know you might think that insert function is necessary, but according to me, I don't think an insertion function is ne necessary inside of a binary search tree, but maybe if it's a thread threaded or AVLs, we will deal with that later. But let's just look at the delete function right now. So in to do that, we do public, void delete and uh, this is a delete function well there must be something inside here shouldn't there of course there is now in here we'll pass first in data because we want to go to that particular node which we ha has that data to be deleted suppose so in order to reach that node we obviously start with the root and uh, in the last tutorial we saw this infinite while loop technique in which we go to everyone and then check the data is less than or greater than and so on and so forth so we're going to use the same technique well obviously we're going to copy and paste this but uh don't copy and paste i mean if you want to you can I, I, got, I ain't got any issues so but the thing is that we can't use this exact one so we need to delete a few things i'm going to delete this whole thing and this little bracket over here i'm going to delete this whole thing and delete this bracket over here and then Control shift f after I fix this, Control shift f to fix it, and yeah, that's what there is. But there is one more problem. The problem is that we need to stop when data is equal to the current dot data. So here we don't have that uh, particular, you know, facility. So we put it in here. So we do this should be greater than, and then else if. Oh, sorry. There's an if function here too. How careless of Java data is equal to is equal to current dot data okay so with this we know that we are at the particular node which you want to delete so we just break out of it and after breaking out of it we know that um, in order to check if we have the current proper node we just do system dot out system dot out dot print ln you should probably print it the next line right so we print out that well the node to be deleted is oh sorry that's a typo well plus current dot data I know a lot of people give everybody slack for using the plus symbol and they say that oh we need to use the string builder function object but you know for this program this is this is more than enough the string builders are well they are awesome but you know use this for this particular tutorial I mean, it's not a big deal and then in order to do actually delete the function we need to make a deleter so we make a delete node and in here we pass the current that is the node we want to delete so we make a new create method I always like to make it public because you know public is more public and here we name it delete node I did tell you about yesterday right I mean uh, the other time that even if your function name is the same as your own variable name it doesn't matter because the parentheses make a difference but if in most cases do not do this I mean I'm just doing this to make sense yeah okay okay so delete node. so how do you exactly delete the node so why did I do this why did I pass it in here I pass it in here for a reason and that reason is because I want to make this a recursive algorithm a recursive delete function now why do I make it recursive and because here we use an infinite while loop so I wanted to make something different we could use an infinite while loop but that would be too lengthy and um, recursion is like the answer to all the problems you know it, it's very fast and yeah well it does happen so how do we delete it so if delete node dot write is equal to equal to null and at the same time delete node dot left is equal to equal to null then we have some execution problems okay else if and in here we have something else I'm just gonna copy and paste this because you know that's faster and I don't want to waste time this is not equal to this is equal to equal to then we copy this and in here we will do this is not equal to so we switch now equal to 
I'm not equal to I'll tell you why I'm doing this just give me a second let me just complete this okay so th these are our four you know particular if else statements and what we are doing with them so what am I doing with them exactly so this if I pass a node which I want to delete it will first go and check if both the right and left pointers of that particular node are null or not if they are null it means it's a leaf node isn't it because there is no other place to go there are only two particular paths which it can travel on and if both the paths are null it means it has not been pointing to anything else and therefore we have to delete it that's the leaf node but in the other case if it's not equal to null if right is not equal to null which means that there is some other data which is on the right hand side of that particular node and if we delete the current node that is a delete node then we will lose that particular data because that doesn't have any other pointer see we are making a binary search tree and in a binary search tree there are only paths to go from the root to the leaf there is no particular path to go from the leaf to the root so if we delete a node which is above the leaf we will lose the path to the leaf simple right yeah so in order to handle this we will exchange the right and the delete node yeah we'll exchange them and therefore the delete node will be at the leaf if, you, if, if you're getting my drift we are transferring the delete node to the leaf node and the leaf node in place of the delete node so we are moving the, the, the delete node one step down every recursive step in every recursive step it's moving the delete node is moving and we're not transferring the whole node obviously because if we transfer the whole node that is delete node is equal to delete node or right if we do that then we lose the entire node and its connection we are transferring the data and not the node just just remember that okay just remember that so what do you do okay what do you do in order to transfer you just do it's simple man it's really simple I'm just trying to confuse you <laughs> just 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 exchange the data okay temp is equal to delete node dot data and delete node dot data is equal to delete node dot write dot data and then delete node dot write dot data is equal to temp simple right it's, it's that simple I mean you just exchange data and then what you do you take this function copy this paste it here and in here you pass delete node dot write and that's about it and you do the same thing I'll, I'll tell you why I did this let me just finish this off because it's actually the same thing see in here we are checking if the left node is not null and wherever there is right we do left 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 and left and in here both are basically you know both are null so it doesn't matter where you go I prefer the right hand side so I'm gonna put right okay um, and now the most important part what if oh okay I'll tell you why I did recursive see I passed in the beginning the current node that is the node we want to delete from here from the delete function in which we pass the in data we checked if the data is uh, is you know synchronous synchronous that's a very important word over here synchronous with the current node and that node I passed in here in the delete node function and the, the delete node function is a recursive function which goes on until you find the function you want to delete or the node you want to delete sorry and so it went in here that is the current suppose delete node is current then it will check is the right of current null left of current null if it is we execute this but if it's not we have to do some adjustment right that adjustment is over here but then we do the same thing again we pass the right node in there because we know that now the delete the node we want to delete is at, is at the right because we, we transferred its data right we transferred the information from the right node to the delete node right so now the information which you want to delete is in the delete node of the right so that you pass it again and then you come over here so eventually it will after following all these steps eventually it will reach at the leaf okay now this is just imagine a tree and imagine the memory and these are pointers okay all of these are pointers and they are not you know like 
literal variables okay they, they don't have any value they're just pointers so we do it over here now so how you do this is first I'll do system dot out dot print not front I always write front when I'm nervous print uh, and deleting no dot 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 the eclipse then you have um, okay so we are basically going to go through the entire because okay so now we have the node which you want to delete and it's at the leaf but there's a problem the problem is that we can traverse in a binary search tree in only one direction we cannot go in the opposite direction so in order to delete that node I have to like this is the leaf node right in order to delete this leaf node I have to go one step behind and delete the pointer from the node which is one step behind to that node so that there is no pointer to that node you get you get the feeling right so that I so I have to go through the entire binary tree again in order to reach one step before that particular node which I want to delete okay you you understand when I finish the code so what you have to do is guess what uh, sorry current is equal to root okay while true okay while true what you do is if current dot write is equal to equal to delete dot delete sorry node dot data oh sorry you have to have data over here then what you do is basically current dot write is equal to null and break okay why did I do this let me just finish it off and then I'll show you why I did this else if um, the same thing but for the left side I always am biased with the right side because you know I'm a righty and I'm, I think it's my it's my physical obligation to you know always support the right well, I, I have nothing against the lefties but you know whatever else if current dot data is greater than delete no dot data okay then you go to the right hand side and else control C control V if it's less than then you go to the left hand side that is current equal to current dot uh, greater than right right and uh, current equal to current dot left okay so let's just discuss why we did this um, so basically what I want to do is I want to delete a node right delete the node so I got the node to the leaf okay after this recursive algorithm I came to get the function to the leaf now the thing with binary search trees is that, is that they don't go in the opposite direction they only travel in one direction so I have to go through the entire tree again to come one step before the node I want to delete so I came that I came here so this is the uh, algorithm in which I you know traverse the whole tree and get to one step before so how do I get one step before it so I just check here if current or write data is equal to equal to delete node so current or write or data the write of, of current the data of that particular node is it well is it equal to the delete node if it is it is actually the delete node so you just do right now and same thing over here and that's it okay sir I just checked there's a correction instead of having a uh, you know current data greater than half current data less than and uh, you know current dot data should be here greater than so in this um, what exactly happens is that it the whole thing goes through this while loop and it checks while the current data is equal to delete node delete node delete node current data is less than if it's equal to it will delete it if it's less than it will shift if it's greater than it will shift okay that's about it in this whole while loop okay let me just run it and yeah it runs the well the node to be is 9 why did I why did it select 9 because over here I said b dot delete nine. It's just simple. Okay, just add the nodes and do b dot delete nine. That's about it. So uh, this code will be in the description, as always, on my Dropbox. 
and yeah so that's about it mm, I hope you understood this in the next we'll learn a very simple operation that is um, you know how to calculate the amount of leaf nodes the amount of nodes the amount of um, nodes with one children the amount of nodes sorry one child yeah the amount of nodes with two children yeah so if you like this video subscribe a like share and yeah all that good stuff so thanks for watching later guys